So, I'm a drummer. I also love Genshin Impact. And among Genshin Impact, Yoimiya is one of my absolute favorite characters. I'm sure a lot of other Genshin Impact players will agree with me when we say that our favoritism towards Yoimiya has only escalated further after going through her incredible second act in her story quest in the game. So to celebrate this great new addition to the story in Genshin Impact and this fan favorite character, I'm going to listen to Yoimiya's theme song and react to it and break it down from a drummer's point of view. And now if you like the video, thumbs up gang, where you at? Be sure to subscribe for more. We do stream right here on YouTube. You can come watch us and hang out any old time. Let's check this song out. All right, it looks like Blossoms of Summer Night is the Hoyo Mix official title for this song. Count it in. Oh! Dana. Dana. -na. Build it up! Build it up! Oh, damn, dude, it's so fun! You got just a straight up dance beat happening there in the background. Woo! Oh, they're dancing with that snare! Oh my gosh! The song just went unhinged. Woo hoo! That tag lasted longer than I thought it would. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, those strings coming in right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Drop it off. Woo! I was waiting for a buildup. They just cut straight to it, didn't they? Damn. That crazy jumping snare. Nice. Oh, is that? Oh, gosh, dang, that's not a very long recording. I love that they end the song with that same, I don't know what the instrument is. It's on like a small drum, the same drum that they start the song with. Let's give that another listen and try it, uh, you know, rather than just sitting back and enjoying it, let's try and break down some of the percussive elements happening here because there's a lot of movement and energy being generated by the percussion there. So, obviously, first thing we started off with a little count in from that drum, right? Yeah. You can even hear in the background, it's it's basically two phases. You got the dun dun, dun dun dun. And then in, in between those hits, you've got a dun 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 dun. You can barely hear that because there's another instrument with it, but that's percussion happening there too. See if you can pick that up, especially if you're wearing headphones. Almost like a clacking. And now it's just, everything's going all in for the buildup. There's that drum again. And so right here, you've just got four on the floor with the kick drum. Little dancing hi-hat. I mean, th this is literally like the oomts, 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 oomts meme, but like IRL on an actual drum kit, fitting perfectly into a song. I know a lot of people like joke about that sound. They're like, you know, meme it up. But like that's, it's in a lot of songs because it just fits so well. Like if you want a happy, upbeat dancing rhythm that's like the go-to beat and as we can hear in this song it fits perfectly so one neat thing that's happening here is you basically got the you've got an electric guitar just hitting quick little hits on the end of every beat so you've got the kick on one two three four You've got that guitar basically following the dancing hi hat hitting the ants. So it's like one and two and three and four. You can hear, listen to that guitar just strumming right along with the hi hat coming in opposite of every kick drum hit. That's so fun. Dun 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 dun. And then it goes crazy. 
So here you've actually got that dancing hi-hat moved over to the ride cymbal, which sounds a little bit tighter. They've got a really tight mix on the ride cymbal. It might even be on the bell and just kind of like tune down and not be overly aggressive like a ride cymbal bell usually is. But that little like and, and, and is coming in on the ride cymbal now. The kick drum sounds like it's still doing it. It's basically like four on the floor beat. And the snare drum's just kind of all over the place. I'm sure there's a pattern in there somewhere. But it's meant to build, meant to build a little bit of chaotic energy. You went from a very structured, normal one and two and three and four with even the electric guitar playing into that rhythm to now this like more chaotic beat where the ride cymbal and the kick are still doing that same one and two and three and four and, but the snare's just kind of going crazy. It's creating, I wouldn't necessarily call it tension in this setting because this isn't a very tense song, but it's highly energetic. And using a snare drum for that really feeds into the energy. It gives it kind of like a marching band feel. Everyone associates marching band and the marching snare with movement, choreography, things like that. Super smart playing right there. Yeah, there's, there is definitely a pattern there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, that's so nice. There is a little bit of percussion here happening just with like, I don't know if it's just chimes or a triangle in the background. Very light, the high pitch kind of fairy-like sound. And technically, piano is a percussion instrument, for those of you who didn't know. Here's where I thought it would build, and it just goes right in. You get like one count, like, oh, it's changing! Grab your chair! So we're back into that crazy drum beat, this time with all the instrumentation really high. The instruments and the flutes are harmonizing together. Man, what a fun song and that might be one of the funnest songs in the Genshin Impact soundtrack in my opinion let me know if you guys agree or disagree and actually if you think there is a different song that's more fun than that leave a comment down below and let me know what you think it is because I think that's pretty hard to beat so that's my reaction and breakdown of Yoimiya's theme song if you like the video of course leave a thumbs up subscribe for more like I said previously we stream right here on YouTube I'd love to see you coming in and hanging out and enjoying these games and these moments with us thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and more importantly i hope that you love the games and love yourself and i love you bye